Hello, I am Julius. I am from Lithuania. I live in China. My main research is Chinese philosophy uh, with Dr. Zhang. Uh, we would like to introduce to you Chinese music. Hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Bing. We have three topics to discuss today. First, what's the essence of traditional Chinese music? Second, how Chinese music was related with Chinese thought. And third, we will talk about Chinese modern popular music. We should mention that uh, the topic we want to cover, Chinese music, is actually a huge topic. And because of the time constraints, uh, we can barely scratch the surface. But uh, as a Chinese saying goes, uh, the teachers open the door for students. Yes, so we are trying to open the door for you and it's up to you if you enter it. So Julius, before we start our first topic, so let's listen to three pieces of music. Can you recognize which piece is Chinese music? Uh, you know, I think that anybody can recognize which uh, piece of that is Chinese music. Uh, of course, it's the third one. Uh, but being that said, uh, I would like to ask you, could you tell us uh, what is it that makes Chinese music different from other music? Good questions. Yeah, to answer this question, I have first to explain the pentatonic scale. Let's separate this question into three small questions. First, what is a scale? In music theory, a scale is set of musical notes in order to their pitch. If the pitch is becoming higher, like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, it is called an ascending major scale. If the pitch is becoming lower, like si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, it's a descending scale. I think you are very good at singing. Oh, thanks. Often, uh, most of all, the melody of music work can be conveniently represented on stuff. Uh, a stuff is a set of five horizontal lines and four spaces. So that's something that everyone knows. Five yeah. lines. And the four spaces. Okay. And second, what kind of scales there are? There are two most commonly known and, and popular scales. Uh, there are also different types of pentonic scale, among which Chinese pentonic scale is unique itself. As one of the oldest civilization in the world, Chinese music was famous of its particular pentatonic scale. A typical Chinese pentatonic scale contains Do, Re, Mi, So, La. So if you take a standard major seven note scale and remove Fa and Si, you will get a Chinese scale. And the third question is, can pentatonic scale express feelings? You may think that having less notes the music would be somehow less rich or not that good. But actually, it's quite different. 
The music composed in pentatonic scale can express very strong and deep feelings in Chinese zhuang. For example, you can experience these feelings by listening to a famous melody, Mu Tong Duan Di, composed by the Hu Lu Ting, or a jasmine flower, we call Mo Li Hua in Chinese. The melody was adopted by Puccini in his opera Torrendot. So to conclude my answer to your question, I would say that exactly this very special Chinese pentatonic scale is one of the main aspects that makes Chinese music different from the music of other countries.